Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam. And finally, we are going ahead and launching our another video on one more interesting AI fabric machine learning model. Yes, you heard me right. UiPath has recently launched one more new ML model, which is in OOB models, out of the box models in AI fabric, which is nothing but object detection. So before we get started, I would like to thank you all for making it entire family of 1,066 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for each and every subscriber, to each and every subscriber and for watching all the videos. Keep loving and I'll keep doing the good work. So let's get started. So all you have to do is navigate to your cloud.uipath.com and log into your online automation cloud. Now make sure for using all the AI fabric models, you have enterprise license. If you don't know how to enable the enterprise, you can check the video link right in the description. Now, if you click on admin, you can get to know that you have enterprise license or not. So I have the enterprise license, which is enterprise trial. Now let's go ahead and let's look at what we have in AI fabric, which is new for us. So all we need to do is let's, let's check. Okay, so AI yeah, fabric is loading right now. And that's good. So we have object detection model. Now, how does it look? So let's create, click on any one of the project which is already built, click on ML package and check the out of the box packages. So here we go. We have here image analysis under which we have our new model, which is object detection. Now, what is this object detection? Object detection works. This is This works on YOLO which is you only look once state of the art model. Uh, this model is really awesome is because I have heard it using people using it on TensorFlow. Uh, also, this ML package is pre-trained on Coco dataset. So you can directly use this ML skill without training. And also you can retrain this model if you want to create your own custom model. So this is why that's why this is a really good and this is really awesome model, which we are going to go ahead and look at today. So with this model, you can predict multiple objects and you might have seen already the thumbnail. So we can, we can predict the objects and we can create, uh, you know, we can predict what are all the classes that are defined in the particular image. Or you can see the output description where you can get to see. Predicted byte array will give you image where all the predicted array will be printed and predicted class will give you each and every class which is identified in this image. For example, book, dog, chair, as you can see here for an example. Now, without wasting time, let's train this model and let's get started with our bot building. Because a lot of people are asking me nowadays that Nisar, please show us the boss bot building. I know that uh, you guys want to see the entire bot build, but it's taking so much of time. That's why I'm not, you know, preferring bot build. But let's go ahead with the entire bot build today for this particular model. So before we get started, let's uh, in this our first video, let's go ahead and let's train this model on the AI fabric and in the next video, we will move forward with the studio development for the bot. So first of all, all you need to do is navigate to AI fabric, create a project, give it a name. So um, any name is fine. You can give it an object detection or that should. So I'll just say object detect and you can give project description. So this is for, you know, so what we are going to do, we are going to work on a use case where we identify how many number of people are there in an image. So count number of people in image, right? So that's like a person count. So let's say a project description is counting number of people in image. Okay. So let's click create that. Once you create the project, all you need to do is go ahead and click on ML packages, select the out of the box model, navigate to image analysis and select object detection. Now, once you select it, just submit it. You have only one version as of now. So let's submit it. We don't want to retrain it. It's already trained on Cocoa dataset. So package name is, let's say person detection. Okay. And output input description is already given. So we have created one package. In order to get it connected with our orchestrator, you need to create ML skill. So let's create, click on ML skill, create new. Type here, let's say person detection. Okay. This is the model. This is the minor major version. This is minor version and give the description. This workflow is for person detection and that's it. Once you click on create, it will create ML skill for you and it will be deployed. You have to wait for at least 
five to six minutes to get it deployed and available on AI Fabric. Sometimes it is faster. As of now, I have already deployed, so I'm not going to create this ML skill, but now you know the process of how can we create ML skill for object detection. I'm going to cancel this one and I'm going to come back and I'm going to delete this one is because I have already created it. Let me show you. So I'm just going to delete this coming back and I will delete the project also, which was created as object detect. So that was only for demonstration. I have already created object detection. If you navigate to ML skill, you can see status will be available like this. And once the status is available, you can go ahead and use it in your studio. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we will see, we will use this model in our UiPath studio and we will try to predict some of the objects from image. Isn't that cool? So let's see you in the next video. Uh, this is uh, a playlist. So you can go to playlist. You can go to my channel. You can click on playlist and you can see object detection with the AI fabric playlist. You can see all the videos there. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy automation.